G'day folks and welcome to yet another edition of Body Trim TV. I tell you what, I am sculpting away right now three times a week, training well, eating well and feeling absolutely fantastic as a result and I hope you are too. Gee, it makes a difference when you put the right nutrients in and you get a few workouts in each week. I feel fantastic, I'm fired up, I hope you can tell. Which again, which really leads me to this week's topic of conversation. And I wanted to, I guess, dispel a few myths, if I may, today, when it comes to something known as ketosis. Now, ketosis has got some good press and bad press over the years, but today I wanted to, I guess, explain to you the difference, firstly, between ketosis and something known as ketoacidosis, which in turn affects type one diabetics only. It's a life-threatening condition, ketoacidosis, for type one diabetics, but it is in no way, shape or form relative to ketosis. They're different and ketosis is in actual fact nature's way of burning body fat and getting lean. Based on the macronutrient profile, the carbs, proteins and fat ratio that you eat, Quite a lot of diets are known as ketogenic diets. For example, Atkins talks a fair bit about ketosis. So too does the Lean for Life system in the US. Body trim's different. Everybody is in a state of ketosis from time to time on the body trim system, but that's not our primary focus. Body trim's focused on reducing insulin. That's the end game, the storage hormone. What are we focused on? Lowering insulin increasing glucagon, both secreted from the pancreas, of course, and that in turn fast tracks the fat burning process. So I wouldn't by definition say that body trim is a ketogenic diet, but you do go in and out of dietary ketosis. But that's a good thing, not a bad thing. The confusion comes with ketoacidosis. They sound the same, but they're different. Once again, ketoacidosis is only affecting type one diabetics. I hope that dispels a few myths and again, clears up a bit of the fog for you. Well, again, once again, folks, I hope you've had a great week. I hope you're fired up. And hey, if you're off the wagon a little bit right now and you're not hitting them out of the middle and feeling fantastic, I hope today's episode does. Do you know what I find? If you just get started again, maybe a sculpt workout, going for a walk, just clearing the head and resetting the focus, you can start to get that momentum going again. That's how it works for me. When you fall off the rails a bit, you just gotta jump back on that once and then the positive habits start to form again. Positive habits, negative habits, that's what we're always talking about. We wanna be as positive as we possibly can. That's it for me this week. Have an awesome week. Have an awesome weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.